In this video, I'll provide an overview of solar radiation workflow within inside the conceptual environment within inside SARI and how you can use Ecotech for doing more detailed simulations and control your output a bit more efficient. I've now opened the conceptual environment within inside Vasari. You can apply solar radiation analysis on many stages of the sign and in two main tools within Autodesk, Project Vasari and Ecotech Analysis. To say if solar radiation is harmful or helpful is really depending on your specific climate and your specific design and layout of your building. But in general, a good strategy would be to look for creating an equal or as equal as possible amount of radiation on the different surfaces. We're not only using this part of the building here, we want to have really a good amount of distribution all over our building. So in this case here, we split up the building in four pieces, which means that we get a lot of more surface area. And by rotating the, the building here, we were able to increase the amount of solar radiation potential in the building, which means that we can reduce the electricity for electric lighting, and we can create a better indoor environment for the people that will use these buildings. So typically, we'll start out really doing a reference study on the existing building to be able to monitorize the new development and when that's done we will start working with the development looking at the PV potential on roofs and facades trying to get a good balance so we'll have equal am amount of daylight. With Sari it's very easy and fast to use but we're not able to control the minimum and maximum value. To solve that, we are really able to do different things. We can make our own style containing of numbers and colors to help us understand the impact of the new development. And we are also able to export it, the data to a CSV file that we can use for comparing different designs in Excel. The limitations of Vasari is that we can only look at solar radiation on massing geometry. So if we want to use or do more specialized simulations, we have to move inside Ecotech. With inside Ecotech, every simulation of solar radiation is done on surface geometry. And we're able to go in and subdivide our surfaces to have a lot of more measuring points in the model. But inside Ecotech, we'll go to object attributes and we're able to scale to see, okay, where do we have between 500 and 1000? And this will help us to really go in and then identify problem area or possibilities in the strategies that we want to apply. And at this stage here, the solar radiation analysis was used for building up facades and windows to make the, the facades more closed where we had a, have a lot, had a lot of radiation and to place solar panels in the facade as well and to make it a bit more open on the north side of the building to increase the amount of daylight coming into the building. In many Nordic climates, we do have a high level of insulation in the buildings, which means that we can do a building that is not that compact and has more surface area to really have to really use more passive solar heat within inside the spaces of our building. Within inside Ecotech, we're also able to go to the 3D editor click a single element and do analysis of that element looking at the average value a single day total monthly or full hourly and this is also a tool that can be used quite initially initially to figure out what kind of what to figure out what amount of radiation we're looking for and again if we go to the display settings we're able to go to properties and say analyze data to make this nice graph where everything is kind of pre-set up with the totals, maximum, minimum, average values that we can also take out to Microsoft Excel. So really two very helpful tool, but Ecotech is quite slow in the simulation and that's where working with the development, it's really quite fast and easy to do with inside Vasari. 